During her 30-year flying career, she has been awarded a first grade merit once, a second grade merit once, and a third grade merit three times. She has been a member of the sixth and seventh terms of the National People's Congress, a member of the fifth term of the National Women's Congress, and a member of the Executive Committee of the All China Women's Federation, which has awarded her the title of All China Women's Standard Bearer. One day in September 1982, Liu Xiaolian experienced a life and death struggle. On that day, she was commanding her air crew as her plane took off from an airfield in North China. But when they had reached a height of 700 meters, a fighter plane suddenly came from the right, struck her plane and damaged the lower part of its nose. She lost control of the plane. It seemed they would crash at any moment. But Liu Xiaolian, in spite of being injured and in pain, commanded the air crew decisively and finally succeeded in making a forced landing, even though the plane had lost its undercarriage. The Air Force awarded Liu Xiaolian's air crew the title of Exemplary Air Crew for their devotion to duty, their bravery and sacrifice and their safety in the air. In April 1991, Liu Xiaolian was awarded the Meritorious Pilot Gold Medal. Of the hundreds of female Air Force pilots in China, only two have ever won this award. Mr. Zhen is a training officer in the Air Force. He said to us that Liu Xiaolian flew excellently and that women pilots were as good as men. In an interview with Liu Xiaolian, we asked her, many people think being a pilot is a dangerous profession. Now that you have been flying for 30 years, do you still consider it dangerous? Generally speaking, flying does imply great danger, but we have got used to it. As long as we perform scientifically and work expertly, all our flights should be fairly safe. As a special great pilot, Liu Xiaolian has flown four different types of aircraft. Now at the age of 46, she is flying a plane of the latest type. This can be considered both an honor and a challenge. Fortunately, she enjoys a challenge.